Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to look at the aggregate function and a couple nice features of that regarding hidden rows and errors. So let's see how we can use the aggregate function in Excel. So here I have a data set which gives me some products, location, inventory, selling price, etc. And I want to get the sum and average of my sell price value. So pretty simply I can just click on the cell I want to put my sum in, do equals, sum, tab, select the range I want, close that parentheses, hit enter, and it gives me the sum of that range. To do average, very similarly, equals average, tab, and again I can uh, select my range here and I get the average of those values. Now, if I go to filter my data, let's say I want to filter it just by New Orleans. Um, I can right click and do a filter in place here, select filter by selected cells value. I just did a post on this recently, so uh, you might want to check that out of, of how to filter by selection. So I'm going to filter by selected values here. I'll select that. And notice, even though it's filtered uh, just down to New Orleans, my values did not change. So what if I wanted to get the values and ignore what's in the hidden cells? Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and remove my filters here. And we're going to use the aggregate function. So I'm going to type equals aggregate, hit tab. Now here is a list of 19 different functions that you can implement with the aggregate function. In our case, we're going to use number 9, which is the sum function. I'm going to hit comma, and I have an option here to ignore hidden rows, number five. I'm going to select that, hit tab, comma, and again, select my cell range. And I'm going to hit F4 just to lock that, close it, hit enter. Now, if I do the same, if I select New Orleans here, right click, filter by that selection, notice aggregate function will just give me the total of what's visible. Now you can also do this with the subtotal function, but we're going to add one more feature to this that makes the aggregate a little more powerful. Now I'm going to take this formula, copy it down, and I'm going to change the sum function to the number one, which is average, hit enter, and now I have the average of those values and again if I clear my filter notice it matches exactly with the sum and average functions we have here but when I filter this to just show New Orleans it will give me the sum and average of just what's visible and that's great now let's go one step further let's say somewhere in here I'm just gonna create an error put divide by zero so now I've divided this function, I have an error in my list. Notice what happens, both in the normal function and with the aggregate function, I get a divide by zero error. Well, we can do one more thing with this. I'm gonna take these and copy them over just so I have them here. Now, if we look at this and we look at the options we have, we selected number five. Now number five was ignore hidden rows. But notice number seven is ignore hidden rows and error values. So if I select number seven and hit enter, notice I get a sum. And again, the same thing, I'm gonna copy that down. And here I'm gonna change my sum function to my average function, and now I get an average. So now if I highlight New Orleans or select New Orleans and filter in place here by selecting just the New Orleans values, notice it reduced it down to just what's visible. So by using the aggregate function here, I can sum or average not only just what's visible, but I can also have it ignore any errors that is in my data. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.